Yeah, Cam, I just want to hear more about Will Clutch. Oh, um, you know, that's just what I call him, you know. There's some other there's some other nicknames out for the team, but this one's more uh, kid appropriate um, in terms of who he is. I mean, he comes up uh, when we need him big, um, just like he did this game. Next one's from Larry Holder. Kim, you guys have played so many tight games and keeping win streaks alive. And what is the key to, to maintaining confidence in situations that could seem dire to other teams? Um, knowing that we've been in these close games and we've came out on top. I mean, what you just said is the key uh, confidence of knowing that we have the, uh, the, the tight knit group in our locker room to overcome, you know, deficits to overcome overtimes to go into any situation and know that we can pull out a win. Um, even if we're in an unfamiliar environment, such as the Chicago Bears uh, stadium with no hot tub before the, before the game. Next one's from Amy Just. How hard is it to watch Sheldon go down and have him uh, you know, not be available for the rest of the game, just knowing how hard he's had to work to get back? Um, honestly, it hurts. I mean, um, to think about, you know, what Sheldon has done, uh, what he's overcome. Um, I'm not sure, you know, the circumstances on that, so I can't speak on it until I know exactly understand what happened to him. But, um, you know, looking over and not seeing my, seeing my dog, I mean, he's become like a little brother to me. So, um, you know, it hurts. But at the same time, you know, we have guys that stepped up and played, played well late. And uh, ended up getting a sack. And I know, I, I mean, I know that's probably going to be compounding because it's like you get hurt and then you see uh, David on your you see, you know, myself, you see Trey all get up sacks uh, late in the game. And it, it was just a sack, sack party. So it's like a double edged sword. Next one's from Jeff Duncan. Hey, Cam, what was the week like de dealing with the hurricane? I mean, people losing power on the team, I'm sure it affected preparation guys probably having to stay at the facility longer. I mean, what, what was it like mindset wise and then having to go and play a tough road game? I mean, it was, it's just um, a small, like a sliver of what people in Louisiana have been feeling. I mean, hurricane season has been sort of tough this year um, with Delta, Laura, now Zeta. Um, you know, it's just as much as I like to say, you know, I, I'm sure our teammates lost some power, but we still have, you know, we're still in a, a good place where we can come to work. We can still practice. We can still have power. There's, you know, guys, I have friends over in the West Bank that didn't have power for days. I, I've got, you know, friends out in Slidell that didn't have power uh, for days at a time. Um, and these are, you know, people, people that weren't able to go to, you know, our Saints facility and have the power that we did or have the meals provided like we did. So um, it's really just shout out to all the Louisiana folks. Um, who are still getting through, you know, still trying to recover from the likes of Hurricane Laura and Delta and, and now Zeta. Um, to those affected, you know, keep on being strong, keep on staying safe, and, and we're going to push through together. We're all set. Thanks, Cam. Yeah. <laughs> Demario Davis will be next, folks. <laughs> 